our travel day number four. So we just left Cedar Key and we're headed to Jamar Campground for a few days before Tampa show. We're heading out of State Route 24. Let's hope that Jmar Campground in Port Ritchie is a hidden gem. Yes. Um, but we will let you know. Good deal. This is how tight it is coming into Jamar RV Resort. You can imagine pulling a 42 foot fifth wheel through here. I about took out that little flower pot. It's tight. That's the office right there. You just pull up alongside here and go in and, and register. We have a pickleball court. Very nice. But you can see how tight this is coming in. It was ridiculous. I thought I pulled in the wrong campground. Just pull up here where that car's coming out. Pull up there to the right and park. And this is the office right here. That little window. You walk right back there and register. They have a pool. They got the solar cover on it now. It, it'll be open here in a few minutes. And then shuffleboard over there. I love some shuffleboard. That's a lot of fun to play. It's a big old shuffleboard court. And they have a laundry facility here and a bathroom. Here's the second laundry house. I'll show you the inside. That's the one right next to where we're camping. And the bathhouse and shower house is pretty cool. You got four shower stalls. If you didn't shower in gym class as a kid, you're not going to want to come in here. It's just like four stalls that share this common room. Thanks. It's pretty clean. Dated, but it's clean. That's the main thing. And here we are in the laundry room. We come in here. They have two dryers work and the big one is out of order. And six washing machines. They're two dollars a load. Washing machines could be updated. And they even give you extra underwear in case you need. <laughs> if you forget yours. Or if yours don't come clean, you can take that pair. That's nice of them to do that. I think they had a clothesline area out there. A little table for your laundry. Board to sell stuff. Yeah, pretty mm. Step out here to the pond. And a clothesline. Is this different? <laughs> I've never seen that in a campground. Nice big old pond. Pavilion. It's a clean campground. Well, it's a resort. It's a lot of park models. That's the back door to the laundry. So the laundry's small, but at least they have have one. Beautiful little deck and sitting room. So you can see the all the park models, and they're well kept. It's a clean campground, but it's a tight campground. They have this nice pavilion here. Very well constructed, I guess it would have to be for hurricanes. Nice big common fire pit out here. They even supply the wood. And it overlooks this beautiful pond.
hanging on that. Dolphin in the lighthouse. Hey, buddy. You're airing yourself out. You're drying in the sun. Looks like a big bat. Who says you can't afford to be a snowbird? You get a good deal on this puppy right here. A little paint. Should be good. Second attempt to get this death wobble fixed. We're in Port Ritchie, Florida at Jamar South Resort. And I made an appointment to go over here to Port Ritchie, Ford of Port Ritchie. It's a big dealership, much bigger than the last one. And they seem very nice, very knowledgeable. They said they had five of these parts in. So we're gonna go over there, drop the truck off and I can walk right back to the campground. It's, it's not even half a mile. It's almost right next door. So I'll go drop this trash and head over there and see what they tell me. Uh, this looks like a more respectable dealership. Not sure I'm going in the right way. Let's see, go this way. All right, let me find out where I'm supposed to be and I'll get back. Okay, so they took the truck back here somewhere. I'm walking back to the campground. So this is as close as we've gotten to actually having success getting this fixed. Florida, Port Ritchie, Florida. Very nice people. The gentleman helped us very nice. It's windy, I'm sorry. The gentleman was very nice. Got the truck in, they've got the parts. He says they do them all the time. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. Somebody holler at me. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it will be just a couple hours we can go back and get it. And hopefully that's the only problem that needs corrected. Okay, that's our resort we're staying at right over there. Megan thought it'd be a good idea to cross this busy street so we can eat Mexican right across the street and have a margarita. So we're gonna have margaritas and then play frog or getting back over. <laughs> Going up here to what is it? Mexicana. Mexicana. Looks like a little dive. I don't know. I'm a little scared. Maybe we'll just have chips and a margarita. Here we are. The Mexican place. There's a wreck as we were walking across the street. Knocked out the power. So we're in the dark. But they're being gracious enough to still cook. Yeah, they're still going to cook for us. They don't have margaritas. A Mexican place that does not have margaritas. They have Look at this crap. That's the crap they gave us. A Mexican place does not have margaritas. What does that compare to? That'd be like a lawn care service that doesn't have lawn mowers. <laughs> oh well. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we're leaving the restaurant. We survived. Survived. So, the reviews say it's a hidden gem. I'm just mad at the person that uncovered that gem. It needs to stay hidden. Was it? It was that bad. <laughs> anyway. I didn't take home any of my leftovers if that sounds like yeah. a We're gonna make our way back across this highway and check in with y'all later. Okay, so we made it back across the street, back at our camper, campsite. We're safe. Feels a little bit like Frogger. Frogger, yeah. I didn't know if we we're gonna have to camp out on the median. <laughs> <laughs> We got halfway across and that's about as far as we were going to get, I thought. Yeah, there was a lot of traffic. But we made it. We just fed Queen Pebs. 
and uh, we might fix us an adult beverage and just chill out for tonight and then go in and do a little shopping tomorrow. Oh tomorrow. Staging for Tampa. <laughs> so the Jamar RV Resort South is where we are. Not pet friendly. No doggy way stations anywhere. You gotta have your own. Also, it's kind of like that Mexican restaurant that doesn't have margaritas. This is an RV resort. It does not have propane. They couldn't tell me where to go get propane. It's ridiculous. So, that's just a little bit of the negative about this park. And that it's so tight. So as you come down this main drag, we got a lot of little roads. And I know this wind is terrible. We got a lot of little roads that have park models and campsites. It's a mixture of everything. It's a very tight campground. You can see this gutter overhang here right in the road where somebody's hit it. We came close to it. And you see this big old tree down here sticking out? Look at that. An RV resort and look at this. We had to get in the other lane just to miss it. I'll do some damage. A lot of people always out walking. It's good to see. It's another RV resort next door. We're in Jamar South. That might be Jamar North. I'm not sure. Again, you got streets all through here full packed full come here this guy is renting bicycles and golf clubs cool it's awesome they let you do that this poor guy his slide is right out next to the road so this is where this is where they want you to walk your dogs along this fence there are signs that say only walk along this fence with your pets our dog's not going to crap on the pavement sorry and then this is where we are it was very tight back in here people had to move their cars didn't have a lot of room here but we got in there Where are we? We are at Pure Seltzer Steakhouse. Recommended by our Epic RV Adventure. So we've read good reviews and had recommendations, so we're hopeful it'll be a good day. So we are getting quite the treat behind us. It's so rich. These ladies are spilling their life story. It's very interesting. Quite nice, They've done it all. They've had lots of Yeah, everything they're saying is, this is sexy, that's sexy, he's sexy. They're 72. And they're talking about men their age that are sexy. Interesting. I think they've done a lot of men by the sounds of it. They've each had several husbands. They've each had several husbands, as Megan said. <laughs> Our meal was fantastic. Thank you, Our Epic RV Adventure. And we're awaiting our key lime pie. Key lime pie is coming. So the Ford dealership called. It was about an hour and a half, and they say the truck's done, so that's good news. I'm excited. Gonna go up here and um, they said they replaced the steering stabilizer. So we're gonna walk back up here and pick him up and that'll be a relief. Hopefully it won't happen again. If it does, then we're gonna have to have the front end investigated a little bit further. So let's go get our truck. Still walking. Almost there, I go up here and take a right. Yes, beautiful day. 
We're staying at the Jamar South RV Resort. Tell you what, we lucked out because it's paved, it's clean. Although there are some tight spots, but from what we've seen around town, it's probably one of the best ones we could have gotten. All right, let's go in here and get the keys to him. So, do you guys like these new Broncos? I think they're pretty slick. All right. Picked up the truck, backing out here. And I'll try to show you what they did. Let me get this thing out on the road here, check it out, and go from there. Here's the bill. It tells everything they did. And I like that. That's what I like. We'll see the truck feels the same. Doesn't feel like it's any tighter steering, but we'll see once we get out on the highway. Okay. So that right there, got a little dirt on it driving over. That's the steering stabilizer that they replaced. One thing that concerns me is this not a heavy duty, that's a factory replacement. So I really don't have much faith that that's going to change anything, but we'll see. Oh well, we're, at least we got this much done. I hadn't had any issues on the short trip so far. After a couple of days, it was time to leave Jamar RV Resorts on our way to a Cracker Barrel in Tampa. That way we can get an early start to the RV Super Show. Thank you so much for watching our videos. We appreciate your continued support.